wrote recently in my blog that November would be the month that we would move home. And I gave the reasons for all of that happening, of course, back then. Well, here we are, edging towards the end of the month. And as I said in this morning's video, that there was a good chance that it would all come together today. And it has. And we're in our forever home. It's a lot of work to do. As you can imagine, when you move house, there's boxes and stuff that you have to sort out, but began to uh, work through all the things that I've got to do. And of course, it'll take a, a lot longer than just one day or even one week, because there's a, a lot of things to uh, sort out. One of the things I have done, you can see behind me there, got my bookcases up and all those there are theological books. That's one of the interests of mine, theology. I was born in Dudley, in Rosemary Ednam, in Burton Road Hospital, way back in the early 1960s. That's in Staffordshire. Dudley was Worcestershire detached, but it was surrounded by Staffordshire, and Burton Road Hospital was in the latter county. Over the years, that hospital has long since gone, and there's a housing estate there. Back then, my parents, we lived in several places when I was very young, as folks often did back then. They stayed with parents. We lived with my mom's parents and my dad's parents in Upper Gornal and Wolverhampton, the Lowell area, to be precise, respectively. And then we lived above a shop on the Stickley Estate in Lower Gornal. And there's a photo somewhere in the family archives of me on a horse on the grass in front of the flats, the maisonettes above the shops. And then we got a house, a council house in Sedgley. And I must have been about four when we moved there. And I can remember going to school at Queen Victoria in Sedgley, still lived at the house that we moved into. Then I went on to grammar school. I passed my 11 plus and that was the last year before no more grammar schools. Well, they're still around, of course, but there was no more 11 plus or 12 plus exams that you had the chance to go to grammar school, all comprehensive. And I continued to live in that house till I was 18. I had a mortgage when I was 18 which is the earliest you can legally. Well, it certainly was back then. And I got a flat in the Ettingshill Park Farm Estate or the area of Wolverhampton. That was a nice place. I, I enjoyed living there. £9,999 it cost me. Certainly a lot more than that these days. Then I met my wife-to-be. We lived there briefly and we moved into Sedgley itself where I was from originally and we stayed there for over 30 years it was always our intention though that at one time we would move and we would move into our forever home for the last 10 years my wife's been looking after her mom she's been on a, a daily basis a carer really in terms of providing for and doing the shopping and all that sort of thing. Well, as I said in a recent blog, my mother-in-law passed away at the end of October. So that enabled us then to push on and move on. And part of that plan was to be in our forever home. And here we are, it's great. And do you know, it's the first house, I'm 58 years of age, and it's the first house that I've had it's got central heating and a lot of people will will think that's amazing they'll probably find that hard to believe when i was a kid and we moved into our house in sedgley when i was about four we didn't even have central heating or an immersion heater we used to boil the kettles to get water for the bath. And I can remember sitting in the sink as a young kid, having a bath. And then when I got a little bit older, a tin bath 
in front of the fire. I can remember the gas poker back then. And as I look back, they're interesting times. And you do realise how much we have moved on, how much we have prospered as a nation. And because I didn't have central eating when we got married and <clears throat> my flat didn't have central eating that I lived in, first of all, and then the house that I bought back in Sedgley didn't, didn't bother me at all. My wife actually came from a, from a house that had got central eating, so she was posh. But it didn't bother us and it was no problem. But I'll tell you what, it is great, isn't it? Of course I am used to it. We stay in places where you have central eating. It's great, isn't it, where you can just set it and warms the, the whole house up. So, our forever home. A lot to do, as I said at the start. Not structurally, though, the house is sound in that sense, but just getting things out, sorting things out, putting things in their place. I'm, I'm looking down there right now. This is my office room. And it looks like we've had a, we've had a burglar <laughs> who's gone a bit wild and thrown everything all over the place. But bit by bit, things start to take place, don't they? And sometimes I guess our lives are like that. You look at your life and you think it's chaos. Everything's all over the place. These books behind me, when we came today, they were in boxes and crates and they're all over the place. And I've cleaned each one individually. I've put them back into the bookcases, which we've had to bring with us and assemble as well. And bit by bit, things start to take shape. What was a pile of books, crates of books, random books. I've sorted them, cleaned them, put them together so that they look very presentable. And our lives are like that. Well, they should be because we move on. We start to push on. We start to tidy ourselves up as we, as we push on in life, don't we? Anyway, less of the philosophy and the, the preaching, if you like, because I am surrounded by <laughs> theological books. Our forever home. I'm looking forward to, well, we had 33, 34 years in our old home and if at my age I can get 33 or 34 good years out of this one I'll tell you what I'll be a happy camper indeed <laughs>